Introducing first from Wampum, PA, at 275 pounds, he is the country hammer, Jamie Jameson. And his partner from the Zender Zone, he weighed in at 215 pounds, Zender Gabriel. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to IWC Superstar Showdown. Benjamin C. Steele alongside Nick Lenda. We're getting things kicked off here on Facebook Live. I want to thank everybody for joining us. You can check us out on Fight Plus of the IWC Network. And Lenda, we're starting it off with some big hosses here this evening. Absolutely. A huge tag team match to start us off here on the Facebook Free For All. Xander Gabriel, Jamie Jameson, and their opponents. Hey, they have some history here. We're about to meet them. Send it back to Dave Kitch. And their opponents! First, from Irwin, Pennsylvania, he weighed in at 275 pounds, the Big Rig, Jason Tyler! Yeah, I can't definitely see uh, cold feet in this one. I mean, if anything, we may have to uh, hold Bolt down, uh, hold, obviously, uh, Big Rick Jason Tyler down. This to quote a wise man is big, meaty men slapping meat. That's what we're going to have, Nick Lendl. Wait till you hear the ovation when these people hear the music of Jason Tyler's partner, BC. The former IWC World Heavyweight Champion, Bulk Nasty. The fans here at the Ross Raver Ice Garden are gonna blow the roof off the place. And here he comes. His partner from wherever the hell he damn well pleases. He weighed in at 288 pounds. The good quick bulk nasty. Well, you hate to see bulk nasty standing across the ring from Xander Gabriel. It makes you feel some kind of way, BC, knowing the history between these two men. Well, Bulk and, Nasty, one for <laughs> not traditionally making friends here in the locker room, but he trusted Xander Gabriel, and Xander Gabriel stabbed him in the back. Well, Bulk Nasty, not a man that makes many friends, although you do make a great point. He had one friend in his life, that being Xander Gabriel. We know how that turned out. You can actually see how that turned out on... Uh, on the IWC network, IWCWrestling.com. You know, only 32 cents a day. You can relive Bulk Nasty's title win, his title reign, and, well, you can see what happened with Xander Gabriel, a, a friendship certainly not only cracked but completely destroyed. The first time in years that I have been employed here in IWC that I've seen Bulk Nasty let his guard down, and that's exactly what he did. He thought Xander Gabriel was a friend. Well, yeah, he might have been at some point, but well, it, 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 uh, I mean, the the one time Bulk showed point, compassion yeah. and and friendship, and I say this as somebody who was very close to Bulk, managed him for a time. Uh, Bulk's not a man that ever says thank you, that ever offered his hand. It's just not in his DNA. And well, so my question is, you know, when this team of steak and eggs first came together, Bulk Nasty didn't want anything to do with Xander Gabriel. It took him a long time to gain that trust. And Xander Gabriel ended up stabbing him in the back. Does Bulk feel the same way teaming with Jason Tyler tonight? Well, you say stab in the back. I think the truth of the matter was Xander Gabriel saw the light. He saw all his saw hard work light, in action. Huh? He, he, he built Bulk back better. There's some alliteration for you. Say that five times fast. And we just had our, uh, our NFL, well, not our, not you and I, but the, the NFL draft. You got some... For uh, some first round picks here, certainly some big offensive linemen type individuals. You're gonna throw people around. And that's what Big Rick Jason Tyler, you know, 
Jason Tyler for a time was all about fun. He was all about playing games. And then uh, he went through a little bit of a renaissance. He, he got himself in a lot better shape. And here's another interesting tidbit for our fans playing the IWC trivia game at home. Big Rick, Jason Tyler's first match was against Bulk Nasty. Wow. Very impressive uh, journalism work from you, BC. Well, I wasn't expecting that. I did happen to be at ringside for it, so yeah, my memory. Very impressive. And, and now, and, well, this doesn't pose good for Xander Gabriel. Bulk, Bulk's going to slam. He's going to punch and focus on the look on Bulk Nasty's face. Keep I mean, that, that's 24-7, 365. Oh, absolutely. Keep in mind, BC, Bulk Nasty, the former IWC World Heavyweight Champion. And... You know, you know, I don't agree with the mentality, but the World Heavyweight Championship has been on the back burner because Bulk wants to get even with Xander and Jamie. Well, wait a minute. We got a we, <laughs> Bulk made the mistake on that overhead. Oh my goodness! That fallaway slam. Xander luckily went in there and was able to tag. Wow. Jamie Jamison and and these are just two big hosses colliding with each other. Would you ever want either of these men to run into you? Absolutely not. I mean, shoulder to shoulder, me? you might that's end up I'm in a here. different county. Instead of in the ropes, BC. Uh, I'd, I'd love to see you in that ring, but that's a uh, whole other. Yeah, it's happened. Whole story for another time. Neither men trying to gain an inch. Oh, right hand there by Jamie Jamison. If there's one man that can trade strikes, trade forearms, trade shots with Bulk Nasty, you're seeing him in there right now, the big man Jamie Jamison. Jamie Jamison, a new lease on his career ever since teaming up with Xander Gabriel. But I may have spoke too soon. Bolt Nasty picking him up for the slam, but Jamie able to reverse it. Hard clubbing shot into the back and into the snap suplex. How impressive is Jamie Jamison back, BC? Well, yeah. I mean, we've always said Jamie Jamison has all the tools, all the ability. But it, as I've described it, it's that dynamite. But without the blasting cap, it doesn't doesn't go off, doesn't explode. And I think Xander Gabriel is that blasting cap for the dynamite that is Jamie Jamison. Well, you call Xander Gabriel whatever you want to, but he is the mastermind. He was the one that orchestrated this backstabbing of Bulk Nasty. He was the one that made Jamie Jamison drink the Kool-Aid and see his ways. And now these two are taking it out on the man who Thought he had a friend, BC, and apparently not. And well, you just saw. Five minutes gone by, five minutes gone by. You just saw Xander Gabriel. He was picking his spots, and then he let Jamie Jamison get in there. Smart, smart man. Oh. And you hear the chop echoing through the Ross Raver Ice Garden here in Del Vernon, PA, as Bulk Nasty with the head of steam onto the country hammer, Jamie Jamison. Bulk Nasty. Needs a big win tonight to pick up momentum into perhaps being a contender for the IWC World Heavyweight Championship, and that's a double clothesline. You'd have to think a win here could certainly at least get you in the conversation for the IWC Tag Team Championship. We talk about it over and over, BC, how big, how powerful, how strong Bulk Nasty is. But if you look across the ring, Jamie Jamison has the same size. He has the same strength. He has the same power. And now we're gonna see who can tag their partner first. Two tags, the freshmen are in, Jason Tyler and Xander Gabriel. The big rig is feeling it now. And yeah, Xander, Xander needs some air or opportunity, one of the two right now, or some distance at the very least. Jamie Jamison on the corner as Jason Tyler had that well scouted into the spine buster. And Jason Tyler from behind, but Jamie Jamison's feeling it. And it be, oh my goodness! Well, uh, uh, that caused a momentary distraction to Paul Jason Nasty, Tyler. Perfect timing, able to connect with Jamie Jamison. Now the two legal men are the big rig Jason Tyler and Xander Gabriel. Yeah, we've got fighting on the outside. We've got fighting oh. on the inside. Wait, TKO! TKO from Jason Tyler! And that's gonna do it! Here are your winners, the team of Bulk Nesty and the Big Rig, Jason Tyler! Well, we'll
the bell has sounded, BC, but obviously this isn't over. Well, we need, we've got security. We've got referees. We're going to need the armed forces if Jamie Jamison and Bulk Nasty are going to start fighting. I advise everybody within the sound of my voice, take shelter, take cover. And Jason Tyler isn't happy. I mean, I think, look, I don't, I don't want to, to cause things. You ain't, I ain't want to gossip, so you ain't heard this from me, but Jason Tyler looked a little bit upset at Bulk. Bulk not focusing on the match, more focusing on the shenanigans on the outside. Ladies and gentlemen, this next contest is a special coach's challenge. It will have a 10 minute time limit. And if the challenger cannot earn victory within the 10 minutes, the challenger will be declared the winner. Introducing the participants. First, making his way to the ring, weighing in at 231 pounds, he is the big boss of the Iron City Wrestling Academy, Glenn Spector. Well, we're going to reiterate what Nick Lendo just said. Coach's challenge. That means there's 10 minutes. If Glenn Spector cannot defeat his opponent in that time, the winner will be, in this case, the rookie. Okay, let me have that, because I do your job better than you do. Well, facts are facts. Boo me all you want. Facebook, I'm talking to you, Facebook. You get to see me for free. But the only people dumber than this crowd are the people who don't buy this show tonight on Fight TV. Jake the Snake Roberts, Brian Cage, Rob Van Dam. Who has the best wrestling shows in the area? It's International Wrestling Cartel, and you damn well can cheer for that. There you go, that's how it's done. Cool, oh, thank you. And his opponent, Bringing his way to the ring from Coca Castle, Pennsylvania. Weighing in at 220 pounds, Felix Cross. Kill Pussy Mayhem. Yes, you heard that right. Kill Pasta Mayhem. Now, I pride myself on being able to get information from individuals or finding out information from said individuals about them, their background, where they came from, what makes them tick. Whoa, everybody watch out. I tear that entire building apart, at least that front row. But Felix Cause, the only thing I've been able to get his nickname, Kielbasa Mayhem, apparently something that he turned from a negative into a positive. And when I asked him earlier a little bit about himself, he yelled, terrified me and everybody around me, and I didn't really get an answer. I will tell you, this is his debut matchup. He is going against one of the most decorated athletes here in IWC in this coach's challenge. And you know, as, as, as Nick Lendl can attest, which I will have to get uh, your feedback in a second here, Mr. Lendl. Uh, the man, the man, I guess, Lendl, you would say, Felix caused uh, a little a little strange, if you will. I don't know if, if you got any information. I got him just walking away from me. So maybe you've been able to use your sources to get something. But we do know, as I said earlier, this is his debut matchup, and he's going up against the big boss. Big boss, definitely uh, Glenn Spector trying to beat some respect out of these newbies, as he calls them, from the Iron City Wrestling Academy. Glenn Spector, we know he's been around forever, and he's Felix Cause. 
trying to get these fans into it. I don't, I don't think Glenn Spector is here to dance. No, Glenn Spector absolutely is not one to dance. They call him the big boss of the Iron City Wrestling Academy. And Felix Cause, they call him Kilbasa Mayhem, BC. Yeah. The, you, like a, you, you like a good Kilbasa? Well, yeah, but not, not when it's you know, associated with mayhem. That, that confuses me a tad. Big opportunity nonetheless. Felix Claus, there will be a 10 minute time limit. And to the advantage of the upstart Felix Claus, if Glenn Spector cannot pick up the victory within 10 minutes, the victory will go to the youngster. Well, yeah, and you know, you think about the old, uh, this is similar to television title rules. You, you've got a certain time limit, and that can set you off your game. You know that you're against the clock every second that ticks away, every two count. And That's this is count. something that, BC, that we think of. This is something that Glenn Spector wanted. He well, wants to initiate these 10 minute rolls, the, the, as they call it, the coach's challenge, as I announced it as the competitors made their way to the ring. By the way, have you thought about retiring and letting Glenn Spector take your job? He did I have an not. excellent job. Yeah, no, no one's told me that Glenn Spector was interested in taking that job. So until I hear anything, I'm going to be put here with you, BC, as much as I don't like it. Another coach's challenge. I mean, Glenn Spector telegraphed it, but able to recover. Just that's the experience from Glenn Spector you just saw right there, BC. Felix Cause hung out on the top rope. Glenn Spector might not even need the whole 10 minutes to pick up this victory. Well, I mean, you know, that's the thing. When you're a young kid, you don't know what you don't know. You, some things you do learn, obviously. And what about the pressure? The kill boss of mayhem, Felix Cause. I mean, this building, the Ross Raver Ice Garden, I mean, I, I know it's been renamed in the past few months, but this is a historic building. ECW has ran here. I Impact Wrestling. So many IWC events have run here. This is a historic building, and for a guy like Felix Cause to get his first opportunity in a building as big as this, I mean, the pressure has to be on, BC. Absolutely. Not to mention, you're in there one-on-one -on -one with the... The veteran, Glenn Spector. You know, you think of some of the, the, the uh, names that have walked through this building. One of the biggest shows this building ever had in 1999. Curtis goes home, and you can look it up if you have the Google machine, but you've got Chris Jericho, you've got Dean Malenko, you've got Mick Foley. Uh, the names go on and on and on. A, a tribute for the late great, well, the late great Brian Hildebrand, and I'm going to point something out. Our camera's picking that up. You can see there's about a nine or 10 inch scar yeah, absolutely. across his chest. He has nerve damage in that chest. Actually cannot feel. That's what Glenn Spector was trying to attack. Might've been a, uh, a not a great strategy. You don't want to anger the big boss, but that just fired up. Kielbasa mayhem. I'm not, I'm not quite sure what Kielbasa mayhem is. Well, we're about to learn here. I'm, this is the first time I've seen him in the IWC ring. What a huge test for Felix Cause against Glenn Spector. And you mentioned BC. I can't believe that huge scar across the chest. You know that this is a tough guy when you walk in the ring and see something like that across from you. Yeah, you know, some guys, that'll, that'll be a crutch. But, but with Felix Cause, it's a benefit. Kielbasa, I just, I just can't get the two words. I mean... It, I mean, Oscar Meyer doesn't really may have, uh, you know what, that's a that's. Well, get a your sour crowd, get a bun, and sit back and watch because Felix Cause is impressing me tonight, BC. I don't know if Glenn Spector's feeling sour right now, but he's got to know he's on the defensive right now, and that clock is ticking down and ticking down. Also, uh, again, we want to remind everybody, there is time, Fight Plus, IWC Network, you can catch the action here this evening. We have title matches, we have six-man matches, you never know what else we're going to have. Rob Van Dam is house. here, Jake the Snake Roberts is here, Brian Cage is here. Why would you not order IWC Superstar Showdown live tonight, Fight Plus, IWC Network. There's still time to order the event. And you can use hashtag Superstar Showdown 4. That is the number 4 in the top left, left corner of your screen. Easy for me to say. And I'll tell you, Spectre, I hate to say this. I don't want to anger him. We felt that wrath before. But Spectre, well, I was going to say Spectre is, is looking looking on the, the weak end of this now. But Big Boss taking over every time. Huge bulldog from the veteran 
But keep in mind, BC, if the 10 minute time limit expires, that's a win for the rookie and a loss that's your, for what? the so-called coach of the Iron City Wrestling Yeah, but Academy. there's the Shining Wizard. You can count to 100. Well, I spoke too soon. Here is your winner, Glenn Spector. Well, it seems like the coach still has more knowledge than the young boy. What do you think, BC? Well, certainly an impressive... How long is this going to last is my question. Well, if you're going to ask me a question, you got to give me... Turn his... Turn Lendl's mic yeah. off.